What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 151 of the Rise to Glory here at Gibraltar Apex and today we continue on with our Champions League campaign with an absolutely massive game against Swansea City. Of course if you didn't see last episode it was episode 150, it was a triple live come special, please go check that out. Today we have what really is a defining game against Swansea, we are away from home, we're going to Wales and uh, it's going to be a tricky tie for us. Just looking at how the Champions League group lies in Group F at the moment, um, things are a little bit interesting. Uh, both ourselves and Swansea are even on points and we're actually ahead of them based off head-to-head. -head. Now going into this game against Swansea, if we can get a draw or a win against Swansea, um, well, a draw would mean that we go into the final game just needing a win, which of course we'd live come in this episode. If we beat Swansea today, we guarantee ourselves, assuming Utrecht don't beat Bayern Munich, a spot in the knockout stages. This is a do or die game really, because if we were to lose to Swansea, they go ahead of us on head to head and barring a Utrecht uh, win, which actually wouldn't be enough. Now that I think about it, I was about to say if, if Bayern somehow lost, we'd be uh, needing a win in our last game, but because of the head to head against Bayern, that isn't really a situation we can account for. Basically, a draw or a win today, we're, we're probably through. If we lose, oh dear, um, we'll be going into the Europa League at best, of course, still with a game to play against Utrecht, who we lost to previously quite quite convincingly. It wasn't a great performance. Anyway, in terms of the team for today's game, this is the lineup we are going to go with. We're going with Ludwig Jung in goal. Elsewhere, we go with, of course, Assad, Cabasele, Mustafa, uh, Gaiganov. Junior, Volsky, Tiago, Gilvan is going to be stepping in at centre attack in mid. You might be wondering, Jack, why, why is Gilvan playing here? To be honest, Gilvan's a really well-suited attacking midfielder. And you'll see here, he started to play for Brazil a little bit. So I want to give him a chance to play today. Uh, we've, of course, got Paul Smith out on the left, who, to be honest, has been having an absolutely fantastic season. In the league, he's not been doing too crazily, but in Europe, he's really stepped up to the plate for us, getting us some important goals so far. And, of course, up top for today's game, we go with Sebastian Girard, a player continuing to improve. 20 goals in 23 appearances for Belgium at national level. His goal-scoring record for us is pretty good, too. 50 goals in 47. Hopefully, he can add some more to that tally today. Let's submit this team. We are going with a 4-2-3-1. You may remember last time we played Swansea, we played a narrow 4-3-1-2. We went two goals down and had to come back from behind in order to get anything from this game. Today... We're going to start with that wider formation, and I'm hoping it's going to work for us. Looking at it here, actually, Swansea playing a different system themselves. They are going to be playing a 4-3-3 with three strikers. That kind of concerns me a little bit. I feel like three striker formations have been a little bit of our undoing uh, over our time with the Apex, but we'll start with this system today. Uh, I'm just going to tell the players to go out there and enjoy themselves. Hopefully we can get this kind of game off to a good start. Hopefully it's a comfortable game uh, if we win this game, of course, as I said, we would make it to the knockout stages, barring a Utrecht result against Bayern. If we were to um, draw this game, it goes into the final game. We just have to equal Swansea's result against Bayern because we'd have it on head-to-head. -head. If we lose, I mean, good goodbye Champions League dreams for another year. Something that I really don't want to see. This is pretty much a cup final in some ways. In the other game, Bayern going ahead early on. Looking at the stats here, of course, we are away from home. It's been a cagey affair and actually a set piece, something we struggled to deal with over this season. But we do deal with it on this occasion. Swansea with the ball, having to go all the way back to their captain Hughes in goal. Um, and now they're going to try and build again. Of course, those three strikers could be causing us problems. As the ball comes into the back post, Gaiganov flicks it clear, but the chance might not be over. Cross to Roger at the back post. Can we get a tackle? And we can. Paul Smith, great play. Now can we break quickly? Sebastian Girard. Gilvan is down the middle. Girard is going on his own. Look at the pace there. Whips it in back post. Junior shoots it. Hits the keeper. Hits the post. I think. He didn't hit the post. It just somehow didn't cross the line. The keeper managed to parry it and then recollect at the second time of asking on the goal line. And now we have to defend. Mustafa, big win there. Ball not completely cleared though. Swansea with the ball here. Spreading it out wide quite a lot. We do deal with it though with Mustafa. Now can Junior get the ball forward? Girard stood on his last man. Junior out wide. Can he beat his man? He has the pace to do it. Alex to go back to Gaiganov. A few triangles emerging here. Trying to create an opening. Gilvan through. Can he get the ball across? Disappointing pass but the chance isn't over. Girard to Paul Smith. It's a goal. I thought the chance had gone with that cross by Gilvan going beyond the far post. It wasn't the best ball in. Girard was clean open, but Girard, very intelligent play by him there. In FM, you see it far too often. Players shooting in this situation, Girard's in here. 
Instead, it's just a really intelligent little turn, beats his man Roger there, lays it off to Paul Smith, and, well, the keeper is in no, man la no man's land. There's a lot of Swansea players to get the ball free, but a powerful strike from Paul Smith finds a gap. And, uh, well, we're off to a good start here. And actually, we could be on the attack again. Junior, Giganov on the overlap. Can he whip in the ball? He can. Paul Smith back post shoots. Hit the woods work. It's saved as well. Two clear-cut chances in one highlight. Paul Smith with a chance to double his lead. Unfortunately, not to be. At half-time, though... We're a goal ahead, we're looking good, more of that please in the second half. One thing that is just worth noting just a little bit is the fact we are lacking a bit of fitness, particularly in our defenders. It's not a massive problem, but it is something to keep an eye out on. You can see a few of the players tipping into the 70% conditions. As the game goes on, that might be something we have to monitor quite closely. Uh, but well, so far, a pretty good team performance. I was about to make a sub... I think there's about to be a chance. I'm going to make the sub I was going to make, which was to take off Thiago at a 6.6 .6 and bring in Mini Mosca. Let's see how we deal with this. Swansea with the ball at the edge of the box, charging inside. Lay off G D Giovanni. He hits the woodwork. Young collects it. I mean, it's a little bit of a r r kind of... Well, what am I trying to say? We're, try we're, we're riding our luck. We are riding our luck. That's what I'm trying to say. Girardo with a chance and he scores. It's 2-0. In this must-win game, Girardo has come big. He's got an assist and a goal to his name now. And uh, from a game that could have very easily gone to 1-1, bar that shot hit in the post, we get our own opportunity. A well-worked corner and Girard with an expert finish at the near post. A very, very tight angle to squeeze it in. But he did just that. And that should be game over, you'd think. Now, Mosca also involved in the build-up. Mini Mosca, of course. Um, involved there. Gilvan's not the best game. I'm going to drop Girard back and we are going to bring in Dues, I think. Uh, we will save our last sub for now just in case there's an injury late on, but getting in Dues, a few fresh legs up top. Girard going to drop back to that centre attacking mid role that he likes to occupy. Let's see what we can do. Girard, he's through again. He hits the woodwork this time. Well, maybe he should have pulled that one back. Uh, similar opportunity to that first goal that we scored where he wasn't selfish. This time he is a little bit more selfish. Goes for goal. Shot was never really on, if we're honest. But that said, it's not going to matter. This is a massive win for us. We beat Swansea 2-0 in what was essentially a cup final. That will, I do believe, guarantee us Champions League knockout round football. Cabasele, man of the match from left back, just defended well, got an assist as well. But in truth, it was a really great team performance. Sebastian Girard did well. Paul Smith with a goal. And, uh, well, he got an 8.72, which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic for a player that... It's fair to say, in recent years, I've wondered if he's kind of passed his best, if he's had his day. Uh, it turns out that he has, still has a few days ahead of him, Paul Smith. He played very well there for us. And with that win, we qualify for the first knockout round, which is great. Unfortunately, we cannot finish uh, second, or sorry, top in the group because of our head-to-head -head record against Bayern. I'm not going to be too concerned about that. We've made it to another Champions League knockout stage. It's worth noting that the board expectation for this year in the Champions League... I do believe is to reach the semi-final, which I still think is a ridiculously high kind of target to set considering we reached the final for the first time last year and two years before that is the only other occasion where we've made the semi-final. That said, we do have a chance. We're still in the competition. Of course, we have a transfer window to maybe make a few moves, moves happen. I don't think that's very likely to be the case because, well, we haven't got a ton of money to spend, but also because these players are performing very, very well for us at the moment. Anyway, guys, apologies for the slightly shorter episode. Hopefully you guys understand there's not much point in doing that last game against FC Utrecht. There is nothing on the line there. We go through. I am very, very happy about that. Hopefully I'll see you guys for the next episode. It will be 152. I'm not sure if it'll be a big kind of domestic game against another Gibraltarian side or that Champions League first knockout round. But hopefully I'll see you guys for that regardless. If you have enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.